Lou, when, um, when World War II started, did it affect your career? Yes. <clears throat> I got into the nursing school through the Cadet Corps, and uh, I was paid $30 a month. And, and what's a Cadet Corps? The Nurses Cadet Corps, they called it. Is it like part of the Army? Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, my last six months, they uh, chose me to go to a veterans hospital. That's where I met my husband. Did you get stationed any place um, other than that VA hospital? Did you go to New York or? No, went to Des Moines, that's all. Des Moines, and that's where the veterans hospital was? Yeah. Okay, did you, did you ever go to Odo, Odo, Iowa? She had passed through. That's Just passed through? Okay. All right. What day did you marry Bud? Uh, December 2nd, 1948. So after the war was over? Yep. Okay. And I just graduated that year. Oh, okay. Yeah. And when did you, uh, you graduate from nursing school? From nursing school. Nursing right? school. Okay. Um, so where did you end up? Where did you guys move to live the first time? Uh, we lived in a second <clears throat> story of a house, old house. Was that in Roseville, you said? No, that was in the school, uh, Northern Iowa University he was going to. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Was that paid for by the government? No, Pro no. You had well, to pay for that? Well, it may have been through his, but oh, not. Okay. Uh, not mine. I was just given thirty dollars a month. So you, it just it was you and him and the two kids in this one bedroom place. Oh golly, no. We we were there until I had. a uh, no, we moved before I had the first baby. Oh. Okay. To Quonset Hut. Oh. What uh, what city? And in. in um, Des Moines, you said? Near, near Waterloo, uh, Cedar sure. Falls. Cedar Falls, okay. And I worked at that hospital. Did you enjoy working in hospitals? Oh, yeah. Loved it. Why did you love it? Oh, I don't know. I just, that's the work I wanted to do. And they gave me the all, whole section of babies and mothers to have babies and all that. Were you like a supervisor sometimes? Well, of my shift I was. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so the baby started coming. The first one was? Oh, the first one was, uh, I was married in uh, 48 and Drake was born in 49, November 26th. Okay, and next one? Next one uh, was born December 22nd, um, 1950. By the way, how old are you right now? I am 90, uh, I will be 90 this month. Very good. So, then when was the next, did you move after you had the two? Oh, golly. Uh, we moved about every other year and had a baby one year and moved the next. But this was when he was going to college. So we stayed there till he graduated. I see, okay. Yeah, so Dwight was born there also. Okay, so you had, so when was the third baby born? The third baby was in 53. And that was? Diane. Do you remember? Do you know her birthday? Yeah, it's May, uh, June seventeenth. Uh, now, at that point, were you going to stop having babies? Uh, I would. I planned on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was enough for me. But then, what happened? Well, normal things happen. <laughs> They didn't have birth control back then, huh? No. Oh. They sure didn't. So then the next one came along when? Then, uh, that was 
53, and, 55. And how old was um, your oldest son when, when... Um, 55, he was born in 49, so that's four years, four or five years. Okay. And that next child was who? Oh, this was Dawn. Don? Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know Don. No, Don lived five days. Oh. Yeah. What happened to Don? She had three chambers in her heart. Instead of two? Four. Instead of four, okay. Yeah. So she just couldn't make it, huh? No. Wow. That must have been a sad time for you, huh? Uh, well, it was, because I had four, uh, two boys and two girls, and I was really ready to quit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So then how long before Dana came along? Uh, two years. Two uh, more years. Then it was Doug. Oh, Doug. oh, yeah, that's right. Doug was next. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when, what's his birthday? Uh, and 40, 57. And December 10th. Okay. And then the last one? Is Dana. And she was born May 15th. Uh, 59. And when did you, w w tell me a little bit about more of those moves. You were in Cedar Falls, you said, or Cedar Rapids? Oh, well, <laughs> I had those six babies in five different towns. Oh, wow. So, it was, my husband taught school, so it was either that's the way you get a raise, is move, so we'd move one year and we'd have a baby the next. Oh. Was he getting raises each time he'd move? Yeah. So he did pretty good making money, huh? Oh, yeah. And you were making money too, weren't you? You well, were still working? In the meantime, well, I, I did when I could. Uh -huh. uh, and I worked nights and Bud took care of the kids when I was working. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, we didn't have a babysitter. Oh, wow. Anyway, he went to Colorado for three summers and got his master's degree. So you stayed home with the kids? Uh, well, no. I went there and I worked at the hospital. In well, Colorado. you brought the whole family to Colorado. Yeah. What city? Uh, Greeley, Colorado. And he, he had to do it for three different summers? Yep. To get his master's? Yep. I see. Now, he also got a doctorate, didn't he? Yep. When did he get that? Uh, when he was 48 years old. Oh, wow. Very good. Yeah. So did he have a good reputation as, as a teacher? Oh, yeah. As a teacher, really, very good. What's the, some of the stories you heard about him? Well, his classes filled up before anybody else's. Oh, wow. When, when he was teaching at the Northern Iowa University. And what subject was he teaching? Uh, oh, gosh, no. Psychology, wasn't it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I couldn't think of that. <laughs> so main, his main thing he liked to teach was psychology? Oh, yeah. And that's the one he was best at with the students? Yeah, and he had a, a degree in uh, counseling. Oh, good. Family and child counseling. Well, I remember he was counseling me a lot of different yeah. times when we came to visit you. And <laughs> I really appreciated that. <laughs> And by gummy, uh, that's one thing he was really, really, really good at. And he did that after school every day that anyone wanted it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Just to, just to help. It wasn't yeah. even getting paid, was he? No. Wow. Wow, very good. So when did you move to your house on Acorn Road there? In oh. 1978. 1978, and it's called Granite Bay, right? Granite Bay, yeah. Near, near Folsom Lake. Yep. And what schools did the kids go to? Oh, that was the year Dana graduated, so they all were graduating. Oh, okay. All right.